All right, it is another Monday and another release for Apple betas, this time coming in with watchOS at 11.5, beta 4, ready to go, and this comes with a nice surprise. Well, and we'll jump into that in a second. But first things first, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and get those notifications turned on so you know when we go into all of these releases as soon as they drop. First things first, if you haven't been following around with the data, these beta cycles and the data that goes along with it, iOS and watchOS have been very stagnant with these 0.5 releases, unsurprisingly, since we know that watchOS 12 and iOS 19 is going to be here soon. So again, nothing really new in this video. We're going to kind of breeze through it really quick and just talk about a couple of things here. And jumping right into settings general about the most exciting piece here that we were talking about is this does carry an A build with a full build number of 22T5567. And if you're new to Apple betas, this means this is ready to go and most likely going to be the RC version. The closer you get to the beginning of the alphabet at the end of these characters here, signifies that Apple believes these releases are ready to go. And this means, well, really next week we could receive the RC. We'll talk more about release dates here in a minute, but that is one of the first impressive things here. And jumping around right off the bat, you will be able to see that everything is working as smooth as it has, kind of jumping around, clicking on different options, going through the UI, and everything is not too it's not bad at all. It's looking very snappy, not too glitchy. Let's go ahead and just launch the sleep app. And everything has been loading pretty good here. One thing that was really weird and I was actually very concerned about when this first started downloading and updating, this took a while to restart. It was very weird to say the least. However, after that abnormally long delay, everything's up and running and working as you would anticipate. Again, right off the bat, jumping into the app here, nothing really crazy, nothing new, like we said. One of my standout things that I'm hoping will be changed in Watch OS 12, the double tap gesture is still the same, and again, not going to find too much new here. As far as Apple's release notes for the public-facing site, in addition to Watch OS 11.5 Beta 4, we got iPad OS 18.5 Beta 4, Mac OS 15.5 Beta 4, TV OS 18.5 Beta 4, Vision OS 2.5 Beta 4, and then, like we said, Watch OS 11.5 Beta 4, and we have some updated release notes here. So, there's quite a few new here for resolved issues with StoreKit. Let me actually, oh, that's Beta 3 for some reason that went to. That's very interesting here. It looks like they're not actually updated. Again, unsurprising here. Let me go ahead and just refresh the page to see if that might have been a blip from Apple and go back down here. No, so okay, the release notes still are not here, but from the last update, like we were saying, the only new thing that was fixed was the store kit had a resolved issue. It's possible there's nothing new here. We wish Apple would be a little bit more specific with these builds, and this is where you'll find that information if they do. Aside from that, there is nothing new feature-wise, like we said, in Watch OS here, but what I'm most excited about is this release schedule that's coming up. So we're at the end of April already, if you can believe that, which means next Monday is the first Monday of May, May 5th, and we could get the actual uh, release candidate or RC build as soon as next week, and then possibly be on that same build through the month of May until about June 9th when, yes, WWDC is going to be going on, and we will get that first beta for watchOS 12 beta 1. That's going to be exciting. Hopefully they're revamping it. Hopefully get, we get some of those Apple intelligence features that were rumored that we've already discussed. So keep your eye out for that. Hopefully that will be coming soon. One other thing I do want to show you here, jumping back into settings really quick, is actually going to be the battery health on this watch. This is an Ultra 2, and after a lot of updates, we do like to show you how it's actually held up over time. So let's scroll down, go to battery, battery health, and obviously down here, we are still at 96% capacity, which is definitely good to see considering the age of the device and the numerous amount of betas that we've been running on it. So it hasn't impacted battery life too bad. If you've been thinking or on the fence about jumping on the beta bandwagon, go for it. You should be good to go from a battery health standpoint. Battery life has been somewhat up and down over the course of betas for 11.5. 11.5 beta 3 was decent, but we did experience a little drain over the weekend, ironically enough. Hopefully that's been fixed here. 
especially since Apple now believes this beta is going to be most likely the final one, provided nothing else is found. Other than that, guys, that's it for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you want to see in watchOS 12? That's my big question and call out. We have our personal takeaways and hopes, but I want to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.